Greetings, Pastor Mike here from Community Congregational Church. You know, I know you're all praying, and, and this is one of our frustrations with prayer. We wonder if we're not praying right, because things keep getting worse. Um, for a lot of us, this doesn't seem real. It's something in a far off land, but it's, I saw on the news today that the United States is now the number one uh, country as far as number of cases. Um, and too often, something like this uh, doesn't truly hit home until it becomes personal. And for instance, those of you in North Carolina, if you saw, we thought it was just a thing that affected the elderly. Well, in North Carolina today, a 37-year-old passed away. So we lift up prayers for his family. And so it's not just something that affects the elderly. The elderly are higher risk, but it's, it affects everyone. Well, I just found out, I just got off the phone with my mother and for my family, this just got personal. My cousin Josh is a physician's assistant at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York City. And when, as mom was telling me the story, I, I was jumping to the conclusion that he had tested positive and I'm sure some of you are too. He has not yet. Uh, however, as a PA, beginning tomorrow, he has been transferred to the ICU at Mount Sinai, which is where all of the coronavirus cases are. So I'm just enlisting you as my prayer warriors. If you're seeing this, um, lift up prayers, not only for Josh, but for the caregivers, the, the doctors, the nurses, the medical folks, as well as the families and the afflicted. Uh, there's, uh, there's caregiver prayers all over the place. And uh, so I, I am calling on you to be prayer warriors for this, uh, for all those involved. I know we've been doing it again. That's one of our frustrations. So uh, let's let's lift that up in prayer right now. Gracious God, we thank you and praise you for all that you are. And Lord, you are the higher power that we summon. We, we pray for this virus, the, the world, for our nation. We pray for the family of that gentleman in Raleigh who passed today at only 37 years of age. We lift up Josh and and all of the caregivers uh, around the world. Uh, we thank you for all those reaching out to help their fellow man, to help their neighbor. And Lord, help us to be some of those people that look for how we can be part of the answer. Help us to follow the guidelines that, that are issued to stay home, to stay. Um, they're not trying to penalize us. They're trying to prevent us from spreading this. And so... Uh, Help us to do just that. And uh, we ask these things in your precious name. Amen. And Josh, I don't know if you'll get to see this or not, but uh, I, though that, that this whole video and these prayers are for you, brother. And uh, we love you. And you let me know if there's anything else that we can do for you. You stay strong. You stay healthy. And that goes to all of you. Uh, I've said it several times in, in these videos. I'll say it again. We will get through this. So let's be prayer warriors. Let's take every precaution we can. And uh, let's, keep, let's keep those prayers coming. Thanks. Thank you all very much. Be healthy. Love you.